Darling, I just got to our suite and you aren't here. I thought you said you were skipping swimming to take a nap. Yeah, but I changed my mind. You sure that's it? Of course it is. Why would you even ask that? Because you've been acting weird since our first night here and we ran into Penelope. I told you to let that go. She's your ex, Penelope, isn't she? Don't go there right now. Why shouldn't I? You've been acting weird. You've barely said a full sentence to me since then. It's our honeymoon for crying out loud. We should be enjoying this experience. You think I don't know it's our honeymoon? And we are having a good time. It's a beautiful resort. I don't care for any of that. I just want us to enjoy it together. We're here together, aren't we? I'm failing to see the problem here. We haven't even had one meal together since we arrived. You always loved eating with me and now you avoid it at all cost. I'm asking you again, who is Penelope? Sh no one, just a random stranger we ran into in the lobby. If she's indeed a random stranger, then how does she have such an impact on you? You haven't been yourself since. If I said she's a nobody, then accept that. This wasn't how I imagined my honeymoon going. If I did offend you, I'm sorry. Baby, you did nothing wrong. I'm just out making some work calls. See you soon. You always say that, but then you don't come back until it's past 11 p.m. Let's not start something out of nothing. Plus, there's a ton of activities you can participate in if you get bored. Emily, do tell me why I just ran into Jordan in the lobby. What on earth is my older brother doing here? I see now you're up for having conversations. Don't play games with me. I asked you a question. I called him to come over. You know how strained my relationship with my older brother is, and yet you still call them over? Have you forgotten we're on our honeymoon? That's Rich coming from you, who's also seemed to forget that Jordan is still my best friend. I don't know what you're playing at, but it isn't funny. You shouldn't have invited Jordan over. Tell him to leave right this instant. You do not order me around. I'm serious, Emily. So am I. Hey, I just checked into my room and guess who I ran into in the lobby? Sean? I see you haven't lost your psychic powers. More like Sean told me. I see. Thank you for coming. Of course, anything for my best friend. I'll see you in a few minutes. Let's meet at the poolside. Deal. Hey. Hi, sorry, who's this? Penelope. Oh, hi, how'd you get my contact? I asked Sean for it the other day when we ran into each other at the lobby. Oh yeah, um, what's up? Nothing, really. I saw you at the poolside last night with Jordan, and I was wondering if you could introduce me to him. You're sure your husband wouldn't mind? George? Oh, George won't mind. He barely knows what's going on these days. His health isn't getting any better, you know. If it's okay with George, then sure I can. Good. Would today work for you? That's a bit sudden. I know, but why wait, right? Right. We can all meet up in an hour or so. Just enough time for me to get ready. Um, okay then. Let me take you out to dinner. Why the sudden change of heart? Nothing. I just want to eat a meal with you. We're married, after all. It's not a difficult task. I didn't say it was a difficult task. I just have other engagements tonight. It's our honeymoon. What other engagement could you have? That isn't pertinent. You're going to dinner with Jordan, aren't you? Why do I sense a hint of accusation in your tone? So I'm right. And if you are? You're blowing off your husband? No, I'm merely giving him a taste of his own medicine. Surely my dear husband must remember what occurred merely a few days ago? So you're getting back at me? No, shallow and petty of me. I'm merely going to have dinner with my best friend. And I'm your husband. You seem to forget that I knew Jordan long before I knew you, and we wouldn't have met if not through Jordan. But do have a good evening. Emily. Did you see the person who dropped the package off at your room? Oh no, I didn't. The doorbell rang, and before I got there, the person was gone. I only checked the parcel and saw your name on it, so I decided to inform you. Oh, why do you ask? Oh, um, it's nothing, okay? You sure about that? Yeah, I am. What were the contents of the package? Copies of the signed document. How were you able to get that? Sean didn't think to change the location, even after she signed it. Wow. 
but that makes things better for us. Have you drafted the second contract? Yes, I have. I'll give it to you later. Okay, that's out of the way now. On to the next thing. You know what to do. Hi, girl. Hey, have you figured out the issue with the package switch up? Oh, don't worry about that. It was nothing. Alright, so what's up then? Nothing. I'm just lonely in my suite. Oh, isn't George around? Yeah, he is, but I don't enjoy his company. Why is that? Just between us. Sure, you can tell me anything. George has dementia, and this trip was his last wish. That's so sad. Not really, I couldn't care less. Oh, you know, I'm really tired of having to take care of him all the time. It's exhausting. You'll be fine. Yeah, in a few months, well, all this will be nothing but a distant memory. What do you mean? Don't worry about that. George is awake now. Okay. Talk to you later. I just got another mystery package. Again? That's weird. It's not important. How can I figure out who's been delivering this? Perhaps you can ask the front desk? I'll phone them now. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, I will. How much longer do I need to keep this act up? Just up until tomorrow. Once you can get her to sign those documents, it'll be all over and we'll leave this resort. Tomorrow can't come any faster. Everything has to go well. You know everything we've worked for is counting on tomorrow. I understand that more than you know, and I'll make sure everything is done smoothly. I trust you will. Also, shouldn't we discuss what happened the other night? Nothing happened. We can't keep avoiding it. After we're done with all this, then we can talk about the kiss we shared. Alright. Hey baby. What's up? I know you're pissed. Why would you think that? We haven't spent much time together at all on this trip. Where's this coming from? I, I don't know, I just don't like how we spent the trip. Oh, now you realize. Let's just put it behind us? No, thank you. Don't be difficult, Emily. Hello, I'm Emily, Sean's wife. Uh, hello. Oh, thank God. I didn't think you were going to respond because Penelope told me you were in bed sick. Yeah, but I'm feeling much better now. That's great news! Is there a reason why you couldn't send me a text? Oh, yes! I want to discuss something with you. It's about your wife. Penelope, uh, you have my full attention. There's no way to sugarcoat this. Penelope is Sean's ex, and she's planning on getting back together with him. Look, woman, you don't get to message me to insult my wife, okay? Just hear me out. No, I won't even condone this. If you're having issues with your husband, then you need to fix that. If you don't believe me, here's the proof of how they were planning to elope together. Uh, this, this is fabricated. It's not. Look closely and you'll see her signature in the document. Well, I'm planning on doing this after all I've done for her. I didn't believe my husband was capable of this either. Thanks for letting me know. I had my suspicions that something was off. I'm so sorry you had to find out this way. Thank you once again. Sure. You are behind all this. Be more specific, Penelope. Suddenly, it all makes sense. The letters, the mails I kept getting threatening to expose me to George. Those were from you. I trusted you. Oh, come on, you didn't. Before Jordan arrived, you were ready to sink your gold digging claws into Sean. I can't believe you'd do something like this. You mean, you thought of me as naive, and you're surprised that I outsmarted you. One look at you, and I could tell that you didn't feel anything towards Sean, but unfortunately, Sean couldn't see that. He loved you and was ready to ruin me for you. We're both women. We both know how hard it is to earn a living as a woman. I had to take what I got. No, there are other ways to earn an honest living. No, there are other ways to earn an honest living, Penelope. You can't reap where you did not sow. And now George would know too. I wonder how his fragile heart will take to your betrayal. No, please. Let's leave George out of this. I'm afraid it's too late for that. I've kept it in, stayed by his side and taken care of him while he's sick. You have no idea what it's like. You didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. You did it with the mindset of using him as your retirement plan. So that once he dies, all his estate goes to the good-hearted widow who was with him during his last days. And what difference does it make? It makes all the difference, and perhaps you should go and check and be sure George hasn't left. 
Emily, where are you? We need to talk. I just asked the front desk and was told you checked out. That's not true, right? I'm afraid it's true, darling. Y you can't leave. We need to talk. We're talking now, aren't we? Even though you can't see me, uh, I'm on my knees begging you not to do this to me. Do what exactly? Not to leave me. I'm nothing without you. Weren't you the one who wanted to leave me? How have the roles changed? I'm sorry, Emily. Penelope truly means nothing to me. She means nothing, and yet you wanted to give her 50% of your wealth? How'd you know? Maybe next time, don't leave such documents lying around. You went through my things? You had no right. It was in our suitcase, and you still didn't think to remove it, even after she signed the documents. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it doesn't matter. Just please. Now that you no longer have Penelope and 70% of your wealth is gone, you want me back? I wonder if you'd still feel the same if you knew I'm the one in control of that 70%. You fooled me. No, you fooled yourself. It was easy to push you into giving Penelope the contract once Jordan arrived, as I could clearly see how jealous you were that Penelope was giving him all her attention. Even all her attention. Even my own brother was in on this. Of course. You're such a heartless person. I'm heartless. You wanted to give my entire savings to your ex fiance and run away with her, leaving me behind. If this is your poor attempt at gaslighting me, it isn't working. I'll never let you get away with this. The money, I'm... I'm gonna reclaim every penny of it. I'd like to see you try. I'm about to board the plane, gotta go. However, be sure to clear the bills before you leave the hotel. You can't leave without making the payments. I knew Sean had already given the documents to Penelope, which I couldn't find in the suite anymore. So I had to draw up another document in which the money will be transferred to a joint account me and Jordan set up. I took pictures of the signed documents and kept sending them to her room, with threats of exposing her to her husband. In the meantime, Jordan was working on tricking Penelope into thinking it was a private account, and they would elope after the money was transferred. All we needed to do was convince her to suasion. I felt bad for George, who Penelope had used as a pawn in her game. He needed to know the truth. And this was the main reason why I sent him the signed copy of the document of the transfer of wealth between Sean and Penelope, so he could read the clauses in it and see how bad Penelope had played him. I was glad everything was behind me, and now, after so many years have passed, it's all like a distant memory, almost as if it didn't happen. But I knew it did. The first thing I did when I got back was to divorce Sean. Penelope had been left broke after George left her, and decided to donate his wealth to charity before his demise. Penelope's reputation had taken a huge blow that it was impossible for her to work in any professional capacity. Although I haven't heard from her ever since, I suspect she must have left the city or moved to the most remote area where she can afford a living making money from odd jobs. As for Sean, he was disowned by his family after they heard of what he attempted family after they heard of what he attempted to do, I decided to remarry. Three years later, I've been told there's no better foundation for a marriage than friendship. So I decided to get married to Jordan, as even after all of that, he was still by my side. Hey dad, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk to you about what went down last night when I introduced you and mom to my fiance. I'm glad you messaged me, Katie. I have some things I need to address with you too. If it's okay, I'd like to go first. Alright. I noticed you were very hostile and negative the whole evening, especially towards Darren and I. I want to know what the problem was. Do you not approve of Darren? Katie, I love you and only want the very best for you, but since you asked, no, I don't approve of Darren. I understand that you may have some reservations, but can you please tell me why? I know I'm your little girl, but... Darren has been nothing but kind and caring towards me. He treats me like a princess. Well, for one, I've observed some things about Darren that worry me. He doesn't seem to have a stable job, and I'm concerned about your financial security. Marriage is a partnership, and it's essential to have stability and security in your life. Money isn't everything. You of all people should know that. You married for love, and not money. I'm happy, isn't that enough for you? I understand you're happy, Katie, but as your father, I have certain worries. 
there are other things about Darren that make me question whether he's the right person for you. Well, what are they? I value your opinion, Dad, but I also believe that love should be about the connection between two people. You can't just base your opinion of Darren on what he earns. I have my reasons, okay? I don't give you my blessing to marry that man, and that's the end of it. Are you serious? You can't outright rule him out. Last night was the first time you met him. Maybe you just need to give him some time to warm up to him. I don't need time, Katie. My decision is final. I can't believe you're being like this. I told you. I'm just looking out for what's best for you, and what's best for you is not him. I know I said I appreciate your opinion, but the way you're acting right now about this whole situation is ridiculous. You can't stop me from marrying Darren. I will not allow you to marry that man, Katie. Whether you like it or not, I'm your father, and I will have the final say. You can't control my life. I tried to have a decent conversation with you, but you just ruined it. If you won't listen to me and end this relationship, I'll just have to cut you off. Really, Dad? Are you resorting to threats now? It's not a threat, Katie. It's a promise. Not only will I remove you from mine and your mother's wills, but I'll also go to Darren and make sure he never wants to see you again. Okay, so you are threatening to cut me off and beat up Darren if I don't break up my relationship with him? If that's what I have to do to get you two to call off this ridiculous engagement, then that's what I will do. So to make it easy for all of us, just end things with him. He's not right for you. You just need to trust me and my judgment. You're the last person I feel I can trust right now, especially after what you just said to me. I'm sorry, Katie, but I'll do what I must. I can't believe you, Dad. Darren told me you showed up at his work today and started threatening him. Katie, please. And when he wouldn't fall victim to your threats, you tried to bribe him to leave me. You, you don't understand, Katie. You cannot marry Darren. I told you, I won't allow it, and I'll do everything in my power to keep this from happening. Dad, you've taken this too far. You can't just show up at our places of work. You could have gotten him fired. That's the least of my worries. What is it about Darren that you don't like? Tell me, is it because you feel threatened by him? Do you feel like you're gonna lose me to him? What? Oh, for the love of God, Katie. For once in your life, just do what I ask without question. Not this time, Dad. I need a good reason for you to be so adamant about breaking up my relationship. Fine, but you have to swear to not tell your mother. What? If I tell you this, you need to promise me that you'll never repeat this information to your mom. She can never know. What can be so terrible about Darren that you don't even want mom to know? Darren is your half-brother. Seriously, Dad, just tell me the truth. That's the dead honest truth, Katie. I'm... Darren's father. But that's not possible. He can't be my brother. You, you've you been with mom since before I was born. There was a short period of time just before you were conceived when I was unfaithful to your mother. During that time, I got the other woman pregnant and Darren is the result of that affair. No, that can't be right. You would have told me if I had a brother. I've kept this secret for many years because... I never wanted your mother to find out that I was unfaithful to her. I had a moment of weakness and have regretted it ever since then. If this is your idea of a good excuse to get me to break up with Darren, it's a bit far-fetched. I wish this was an excuse, Katie, but I'm telling you the truth. I can't believe this! How could you keep such a big secret from Mom and me for so many years? And why have you never tried to get in touch with Darren? I never wanted a child with anyone but your mother. I tried to get Darren's mother to have an abortion, but she refused. So I refused to have anything to do with her or the child. I... I don't know what to say. All I ask is that you do not tell your mother about this, please. End the relationship with Darren and go your separate ways. Of course I'm gonna tell mom. You can't expect me to keep this filthy secret of yours. Katie, please, I'll do anything for you not to tell your mother. Name your price. Are you trying to bribe me for my silence? If that's what I have to do, then yes. What's your silence worth? 100,000? 200,000? Dad, just stop. This isn't gonna work. 500,000. I'll wire it to you right now. You cannot 
tell your mother about this. All right, fine. Hey, uh, Mom, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, Katie. Is everything okay? You sound quite serious. Is everything all right between you and Darren? Well, it's about Dad, actually. I found out something recently, and I think you deserve to know the truth. It does sort of involve Darren, too. Oh, goodness. What is it, sweetheart? You know you can tell me anything. Before I start, I want you to know that I love you so much, Mom. You've always been there for me, and I can't stand keeping this secret from you any longer. What secret? Dad had an affair before I was born. What? Are you sure about this, Katie? How did you find this out? Well, he actually told me about it just now, so the information came straight from the source. I, I can't believe this. Why would Dad keep this from me all these years? I don't know, Mom. His excuse was that he didn't want to ruin your marriage, but that's not all. When I confronted Dad about it, he tried to bribe me into not telling you. He said it was in the past and that it would only cause pain if you found out. He said it was a moment of weakness and that he regrets it. I can't believe he would try to keep something like this from me, let alone bribe you into silence. I deserve to know the truth, no matter how painful it is. Thank you, Katie, for being honest with me. You're welcome, Mom. I couldn't bear the thought of keeping this from you. You deserve transparency and honesty, especially from Dad. I'm so proud of you for having the courage to tell me the truth. That's not all, though. What else could there be? Darren is the result of that affair. You must be joking. I wish I was. It's the reason Dad has been so against me being engaged to him, because he's actually my half-brother. This is too much. I can't believe your father has caused so much trouble in our lives with one simple lie. I know. He really has complicated everything. What are you going to do? Well, obviously, I have to break things off with Darren. I can't marry my brother. Absolutely you can't. And I'm furious that your father has kept this secret from me for all these years. I think I'm going to file for a divorce. Oh, really? I have to. I can't trust him. Who knows what else he's been keeping from me? I guess you're right. I want nothing more to do with him. I can't believe he's lied to us for so long. If we meant anything to him, he would have told us the truth years ago. You're absolutely right. I'm disgusted with him and don't see myself giving him the time of day after this. Hey honey, is everything okay? I haven't heard from you in the last few days. Actually, no, things aren't okay. What's the matter? We can't continue our relationship. What? Why? Have I done something wrong? Well, no, it's nothing you've done. It's something that was really out of our control. Well, what is it? Tell me how I can fix things. There's no way of fixing things, Darren. Our relationship is wrong, and we need to end it. I can't have anything more to do with you. Katie, wh what's going on? We're engaged. Now you just want nothing to do with me? What happened? I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? We're half-siblings. What? We share a father. What do you mean we share a father? My dad, Patrick, had an affair many years ago, and you're the result of that affair. That's not right. Unfortunately, it is, so what we've been doing is so wrong on so many levels, and I can't stand to be reminded of it, which is why I can't have any more contact with you. But how did you find out about this? My dad confessed to everything. He knew you were his child, which is why he was so against us being together. And knowing the truth now, I don't blame him for how he reacted to the news. I can't believe he knew about me and never did anything about it. I grew up without a father, but he knew about me all along. I don't know what else to tell you, but I think this needs to be the end of our communication. The situation is much too awkward. Katie, I can't believe you've done this to me, my own daughter. I told you that you couldn't tell your mother, but not only did you tell her everything, you also told Darren. What did you expect me to do? Just end my relationship out of the blue and leave Darren with no explanation? And of course I had to tell Mom. You've been lying to us all for so many years. It's only right that everyone knows the truth. 
You've ruined everything for me. Just as I predicted, your mother has decided to end our marriage. And if that wasn't bad enough, Darren and his mother are now trying to sue me for the years of maintenance I missed while he was growing up. I'm sorry, Dad, but you deserve everything that's coming to you. You're the one that got us all into this horrible mess. And to be honest with you, I also have no ambition to have anything more to do with you. What? But you're my daughter. Exactly. I'm your daughter, and Mom was your wife. You should have never lied to us in the first place. In keeping such a major secret for so many years, how are we ever supposed to trust you again? You're leaving me w with nothing. After all this is over, I won't have a cent to my name. And you're leaving two broken families to try and heal from the horrible consequences of your actions. Hi, sweetheart. I know you don't like talking about this, but the divorce between your father and me was finalized today. I didn't really need to hear that, Mom. I'm still trying to heal from everything that's happened. I know, but there is a reason I haven't brought it up. What's that? I got a payout, and I want you to have half of it. I believe your father owes you, of all people, for his actions. Wow, Mom, really? Yes, I want you to use it to give yourself a fresh start. If that means traveling or moving away, I want you to do what will bring you happiness back into your life. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate this. Mom, you won't believe what I just read in an article. Yes. Darren knew that I was his half-sister, but he got into a relationship with me anyway. What? What article did you read to find this out? He spoke to some reporter outside of the courthouse when he appeared against Dad. He told them the whole story about his plan to get close to me and Dad, to admit that he was actually his father. So... He knew this whole time and was only using me. Disgusting. I can't believe how people could be so disturbed and go to such ends to get a bit of money. In the article, he confessed that he was only doing this so that he and his mother could find some grounds to sue Dad for abandoning them all those years ago. I can't believe it either. It's so crazy. Like something you would see in a movie. Not expect to be living. Darren obviously didn't think I'd see this news report. Why else would he be so open about his malicious plan? Maybe he just likes the publicity? Well, he's gonna get a ton more publicity when I sue him for incest. Really? Is that what you're gonna do? Yes, I'm gonna use the money you gave me from the divorce to hire the best lawyer money can buy. I can't just let Darren get away with this. He used me and knowingly committed incest. I want revenge. And you deserve it. After all you've been put through, I'll stand by your side through the whole thing, sweetie. You have my support, and we will take Darren down. I agree, he can't just get away with this crime. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate your support, and I'll really need it to get through all of this. Anytime, my darling. I'll always be here for you. I never spoke to my father again, even though he's tried to reach out to me several times. After being betrayed by him and going through such a traumatic ordeal, I decided it'd be in my best interest to just cut all ties with him. After a grueling case, Darren was charged with incest thanks to my amazing lawyer. After spending so much time with him, I started to fall in love, and we've been dating for a few weeks. As for my mother, she's doing well. She decided to use the remaining money she got from her divorce to go on a well-deserved vacation on the beach.